Ladies and gentlemen, Psalms 33 I read from, and it says this. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spake, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. The Lord brings the counsel of the heathen to zero. He makes the devices of people of no effect. But his counsel stands forever, and the thoughts of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, and the people who he has chosen for his own inheritance. That, again, is a saying, a group of sayings that is really self-explanatory, but just to go into some detail with you guys, when you walk in the way of love, you will walk in the way of truth. And because of that, you cannot fail. A lot of people think that the strength comes from what sort of technology you have or how much your wealth is or the kinds of uh, devices you can utilize to stay ahead of other people. But in truth, that is a lie. The truth is that what really matters are qualities you have. And those qualities will determine if you will prevail or you won't. It's that simple. Let's look at Derek Chisora. Derek Chisora recently faced an undefeated um, titleist, the European heavyweight champion, Agit Kabayel. This was in Monte Carlo. And he lost by majority decision to him. To be honest with you, I thought that this fight could have gone his way, it could have gone the other guy's way. But of course, the other guy, he was the favorite dude. He was the guy to build off of Derek Chisora's name. So that's what happened. When you look at Derek Chisora's record, he's only lost to a handful of people. Uh, he lost to Dillian White in a split decision loss, but you could argue he won as well. He lost to Kubrat Pulev in another split, split decision loss. Another fight he thought he was competitive, he could have won. He lost to Robert Hellenius uh, back in the day, another split decision loss. Again, a fight that you could have assumed, you, it, depending on how you look at it, he could have won that fight. So, Derek Chisora reminds me a lot of some of the fighters or some of the boxers out there who sometimes, because they are not necessarily the A-side or they're not necessarily the one that boxing business is supporting, sometimes they just don't get the benefit of the doubt. And that has happened to Derek Chisora a number of times. Now, he did lose to Tyson Fury, Vladimir Klitschko. He also lost to David Hay. In fact, David Hay stopped him, as well as Tyson Fury. But the truth be told, uh, that Derek Chisora has put on some exciting fights and some good fights and I know there's a lot of negativity around him because of his attitude. But when we're talking about his performance in boxing, for the most part, he has brought it in any fight he has gone into. So I like that about the guy. All right. Um, it's a pity because if he had won that fight, it would have set him up for some other fights. Uh, they were talking about a rematch with uh, Dillian White. But I was really looking at probably Chisora facing one of the big names like uh, Anthony Joshua or uh, Deontay Wilder, you know, that would have been good. He would have had experience with all the champions. He's got a depth of experience. He's faced all kinds of people. He's been around for a long time. So it would have been nice for him to get that fight with one of these guys, either Wilder or Anthony Joshua. He may still land the Joshua fight, but still, it is what it is. Now, I say this because I think of Adrian Granados and how Adrian Granados, he, he'd come up short against certain opponents, they put him to basically be a gatekeeper for guys who want to make their career on him. And he would come up, the difference between uh, Adrian Granados is he would stop some of them guys, man. He would, he would, he would end their careers or de he would derail their careers because he was just somebody you just don't go into the ring uh, against and, and underestimate like Sean Porter did. So, I just thought about that. I'm saying Adrian Granis is going to get his just due. He is going to become a world champion because he deserves to be a world champion. 
Of course, he's a lot more sharper at the lower weight classes because he has less weight to carry around. Um, and his precision is really, really on point at 140. That's his, really his weight class. But nonetheless, I'm just saying all of this to say Derek Chisora lost his fight. And so that kind of takes him out of the runnings to face either guy. And people forget how difficult boxing is and how much you have to build up your career. And then if, you, if your career gets derailed in some way, shape, or form, you have to try and rebuild that career again. So I just thought I would share that with you guys. On that note, you guys have a great one. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget you can also subscribe and donate to my channel.